Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Poe. How have you been? What's up? What's new? Welcome back. <laughs> I wanted to post a vlog because it's been a minute since I've done any type of vlog on my channel recently. So I'm gonna do one today because I'm getting my lashes done for the first time ever, ever. So I'm really excited. Um, I'm like, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to Flirty Eyes on Emancipation Avenue. Um, referred to her by the owner of Melodrama Boutique. So she let me know like, hey, Flirty Eyes is looking for a model because the owner of Flirty Eyes used to be a model. So exciting. Like I just want to see like what she's doing, her business. And also they needed a model. So it's like free lash extensions for me my first time doing lashes because i am a lash picker i don't know how to explain that to y'all but i'm somebody that like kind of every day i try to straighten out my lashes or i try to like pick them because i'm always getting like a lash falling in my eye and i hate that or i'm always getting uncomfortable because like eyelash is poking so i'm always like trying to straighten them out take the ones out that are like loose might fall out in my eye because i don't like that so with lash extensions you can't really like pull on them tug on them do whatever so that's why i never really like got them done but since this is a free session for me why not just go and try it out see if i like it see if it does anything different you know so i'm gonna see and then i'm also gonna see like doing this session at 30 eyes if they can like help me out with my natural lashes like straighten them out i don't know but they just like they get like really curly and a lot of makeup artists who work on my face before shoots and stuff they'll tell me like i have really nice lashes and stuff and i'm like really i don't know what they're talking about in my lash appointment I am going to eat a quick lunch and then I'm gonna go to Melodrama Boutique because I'm actually modeling for them today. And then that will be my daily. I've been enjoying this, these kind, healthy snacks and I love them. Um, chewy with a crunch. I love, love, love this and it's like, 100% whole grains, it has, it's gluten free, has five major grains. Okay, so I just finished my lashes. If it looks like I just woke up from a nap, I feel like I just literally woke up from a nap. Um, okay, I'm done with my lashes. My first time ever getting lash extensions. Guys, I'm so sorry. Like, my skin has been going through it. And it's either like a period cycle or hormones or like the stress that i deal with yeah so like my skin has been dealing with it like you see all these dark spots like i miss i miss clear skin point but anyways i finished my lashes and they are so natural so i'm i'm very oily i'm an oily girl but yeah i just went ahead i just got my lashes done and i really like them my number one fear was that they were gonna come out noticeably different but like 
this literally looks like they're still my lashes and they're very pretty and they're very cute the only thing is that i didn't know lashes took that long to install like but granted the girl that was working on me it's her first like she was practicing on me and so it, it did take like two hours because you know some of the time she, i mean we were talking a lot i'm a talker talking and her getting like the glue it took a minute so yeah but i really enjoyed the experience driving to my next location getting my makeup done so i can go model but usually like i'll have to do lashes and i don't have to do lashes and i'm so excited like i'm not even gonna touch my eyes because i basically have an hour to get my face done if y'all know me it takes me a good hour and a half to two hours to get my face done and it's because i i have my process i have my steps i have my specific products and everything but since i'm going to be doing my makeup in the car i'm gonna just have to like figure it out and i need to find somewhere to eat because your girl's hungry i was talking too much this morning couldn't finish my oats now i'm here talking but yeah I really love the lashes my natural lashes are very curly and short and so i just can never just have a good lash day <laughs> I wanted to show you guys my makeup. First of all, I don't know how I did my brows. I had to use eyeshadow because I left my whole Lumique Beauty brow powder, but I had to do my makeup in the car. So really, it's a little rough, but you know, she's coming out really nice with the sun and everything. Um, so lashes are cute. Update, a uh, one lash did fall out from this side, so. I don't know. I honestly don't know how I'm going to do it tonight with washing my face because I love to really rinse and wash. And you're not supposed to put water on your lashes like the first 24 hours that you get your lashes done. So we will see how that goes. But right now I'm going to head into work. And probably after work, I'm going to take the phone call in the car because once I get home, I don't want anything to do with work. I don't want summertime heat driving all over the place going to multiple gigs it, it takes up a lot of energy it's hot outside and it's houston so yeah let's go to work i'm back home finally finally so we left here this morning at 11 yeah left her at 11 back home it is 6 15 wash my face off also got like a, an Amazon package basically yesterday. I have to go back to my roots, roots with skincare because I just, I don't know what's going on with my skin these days. So as I was saying, I had to go on Amazon, go back to my roots and go back to using African black soap as my cleanser for the summertime because i truly don't know what's going on with my skin and especially like my neck area i use makeup to cover this but this side of my face has been breaking out it's just like this whole part like the jaw the neck i'm getting like stuff here and there but i'm just like why is this happening i take care of my skin i wash my face morning night sunscreen do you get what i mean if you get like the real black soap i'll show you what the real black soap looks like but anyways this is actual original black soap with palm kernel oil shea butter and coconut ash powder. was making the soap in a bowl themselves and it's not going to look like that black beautiful like you know that shea moisture black soap I don't trust that but see these yeah so i'm gonna cut it up put it in here put like a block out there and i'm just gonna start using it i'm gonna have to give my good molecule soap a break 
Yes, we're coming to the end of this video and I am basically going to take a quick shower and I'm gonna try my absolute best not to mess up like my lashes. At this point, I have to be very realistic. It's looking like these lashes are gonna come off in the next week because I need to, I just need to do that. So I think because the way my throat is feeling, I'm gonna go get some pho because I freaking love pho. Like, oh, and then I'm gonna come back home and watch Once Upon a Time on Disney Plus because I started that. That was a See, good show. I really like it. I'm only back after my shower to show you guys my lashes. They're still there. So the pho restaurant I wanted to go to was closed. So I basically went to my favorite restaurant on Westheimer. It's Japanese. And I got this spicy pineapple margarita. So good. And then I got my favorite dish, which is this mussel soup with fried rice cakes underneath. I always get this and I love it so much. And that was the ending of my day. And I went home and watched Once Upon a Time on Disney+. Plus. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and comment. And yeah, see you.